Lord, Lord Shiva is territorial or the universal? That still question lies on me. The word Shiva, Shiva means that which is not. That which is, is physical creation. That which is not, is that which is not physical. That which is not, where can it be? In India or America? Or on this planet or in another galaxy, where can it be? It's everywhere. So, there is a dimensionless existence. So we call it appropriately Shiva, that means that which is not. Today modern scientists are saying that nearly ninety-nine percent of the cosmos, cosmos is empty. But not that there is nothing, there is something, but it is not something. Because our idea of something is, we should be able to perceive through five senses. See, right now what you can see and what you cannot see is this. You can see my hand because it is stopping light. Anything that is not stopping light, you don't see, isn't it? Right now there is air here which you're breathing, which is most vital from your… for your existence, but you don't see it, you don't see the air unless you live in Delhi. <laughs> now, if you look up in the sky, you see the stars, but stars are a small happening. The real thing is the vast emptiness. So this we refer to as Shiva, that which is not. Today modern scientists are saying, this vast space has a tremendous amount of energy, but it is not any of the energies that are measurable by us, like electromagnetic uh, waves or uh, weak nuclear energy or strong nuclear energy or electrical systems or microwaves, none of these things. It is none of the measurable energies, but there is no denying it is tremendously powerful. So we said, so this is, uh, Shiva means that which is not, and we said it is in the lap of Shiva that creation happens. At the same time, we called Adi Yogi also the Shiva because he perceived that which is not. You are who you are, people call you a director, a film producer, why? Because you perceived something. If you did not perceive that, they would not recognize you as that. So we recognized Adi Yogi as Shiva because he perceived that which is not. Because he perceived that, we called him also Shiva. So we will call the ultimate reality as Shiva, the one who realized that, the Adi Yogi as Shiva, one who did not realize that but has the possibility, we'll call him Shiva. We'll call the dog also Shiva because he is also made of the same stuff but he cannot know. But we want him to hear that sound. So every time we call him Shiva, 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 we hope that he will evolve one day.